how to recap your year. So it's the end of the year, it's the holidays, it's the perfect time to be able to look back and see what you've achieved, what you struggle to achieve, and there's certain ways to do that. I'm gonna break it down for you right now. Ready, go. One of the major ways that I look back at the year is by reading my journal. For those of you who don't keep a journal, I absolutely recommend it. I've been keeping one for the last 12 years and I keep one personally and one for the business. Personally, it allows me to kind of reflect and look at the challenges that I've been going through at different periods of my life and it's really amazing to look at problems that I thought were so huge back then and realize that it's absolutely nothing today. It doesn't affect me at all. So it's, it's, a, it's a real positive influencer. So keeping a journal is number one. The second thing is sort of realizing, you know, the things that you did throughout the year by having a journal, things that you did throughout the year that has been really positive and that you really enjoy doing and identifying the things that you didn't really enjoy doing and trying to do more of the things you did enjoy. The third thing is to focus on not the results that you get, is to focus on improving the process. Are you having and living a happier life, right? So focusing on enjoying the things that you, you like doing, focus on recording the journey throughout the process, because at the end of the day, that's the whole point of living, right? Is to become happier, to improve what you're doing, and, and to do more of what you enjoy doing. So that's your Tuesday tips on looking back and recapping the last year. Just enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, Happy Tuesday tips, guys. Cheers.